Composition, how important is it? Coming up, composition techniques. The most quoted rule of composition is the rule of thirds. In its simplest form, try not to put your main subject interest right bang in the middle of the frame. The basic principle behind the rule of thirds is to divide the image into thirds, both horizontally and vertically, resulting in nine equal parts. Where the horizontal and vertical lines intersect makes an ideal location for the most important parts of your picture. By locating your main subject at one of the four intersections, you give the subject more emphasis than if it was smack in the middle of the picture. Depending on your camera model, and if you can use live view, you can bring up the grid on the LCD screen, if you have enabled this in the camera settings. Keep your horizons horizontal. This might sound like an obvious one, but for instance, if you are taking a picture of a landscape, try and keep your landmass horizontal. This is important because you don't want to stop it. Well, it will stop you from having to correct and crop your images when processing them. A lot of today's modern cameras have built in level meters. To find them, you need to go into the menu settings and then enable them. Framing. Try and put something of interest close in the foreground. You might be able to use what's in your image as a natural frame. For example, arches, windows, gaps in trees or rocks. Using these, if available, can produce a dramatic result, readily drawing the eye to the main subject. There are two things to remember with this compositional technique. First, you need a wide depth of field so that the frame and subject appear sharp. Secondly, the frame may have a significant different brightness to the rest of the scene, making the frame appear dark in the final image. There are ways to change this, which involve various exposure compensation techniques, which I will cover in future videos. Check your backgrounds. Many great pictures have been ruined by something in the background. Just move around to remove the distracting elements. It is easy to overlook what is in the frame behind your subject. A simple background makes a subject stand out, whereas a cluttered background distracts the eye, making it difficult to identify the subject immediately. Fill the frame. Always try and fill the frame when taking your shot. Filling the frame might require a change of lens if you have that option in your camera bag. Simplify your pictures. Focus on what's interesting. You don't always need to fit everything in. Crop tighter in the camera's viewfinder. You should always aim to frame the image correctly at the time of shooting, rather than relying on your crop tool in your photo editing software. To give you an example, if you have a 30 megapixel image when you open it, and from that image you crop it down 30%, it now becomes a 9 megapixel image. So what you've done by cropping it is you've got rid of all that important information. So another reason why filling the frame is important at the outset. Leading lines. This is any line coming to your photograph from the outside. The idea behind this is to use leading lines to draw the viewer's eye through the photograph to your main subject area. If you can achieve this, it gives your image more impact. Always try to include leading lines in your photographs. 
If you can make them appear from the bottom corners of your shot, all the better. Try and avoid taking all your pictures from eye level. Experiment with taking pictures above or below. This will give you a different perspective and changing your position can dramatically alter the look of your image. Don't be afraid to turn the camera upright. At the very least, try and get to the same height as your subject. If you're photographing a small dog, get down to the same height as the dog. Same, same, same as a child, if you're photographing a small child, get down to the height of the child. Just experiment. Don't always take pictures at eye level. These are just rules. Break them if you need to. Don't be afraid to break the rule of thirds. By maybe using unusual angles, different pers perspectives, there are no rules on being creative. So if you like what you've seen and heard today, consider subscribing and don't forget to click that bell for notifications of when I post my next videos. Thank you for listening and see you at the next one.